When junior Andrea Santiago was invited to play for Puerto Rico's U-20 team this past winter, she had no idea how drastically COVID-19 would affect the world of women's soccer. Given that all of us come from different parts, whether it's California, Puerto Rico, Boston, or North Carolina, everyone's dealing with COVID differently. Santiago was selected to play for Puerto Rico after attending a winter training camp with Puerto Rico belonging to the Confederation of North, Central American, and Caribbean Association Football, or CONCACAF, Santiago played against teams like Mexico, Nicaragua, and Trinidad in the Women Under 20 Championship. I was really nervous going into it, but given that I was born in Puerto Rico, I felt very much at home. Santiago began preparations for the championship in January. Training with the UNC women's varsity soccer team, Santiago practiced with athletes of all different playing styles. I had already felt comfortable that practicing with the varsity team here would be a valuable and helpful experience. Santiago's team made it to the round of 16 before taking a loss to Trinidad. When Santiago came back to UNC, she planned to continue playing with the women's club team. COVID-19 erased any chance of that happening. With club sports being canceled in the COVID-19 world, Santiago is unsure as to when she'll be able to play soccer competitively again. I'm Sarah Gray Barr, reporting. So far as we make our way through this one, there's the substitutes for each side. Noel Parra for Mexico.